Ah, okay now, my friends, turn to your hymnals and page <laughs> 712 for hymn 94. What if Noah missed the boat? <laughs> and it says in there, reality is often unreliable. East is east, west is west, never the twain shall meet because they got into a twain wreck. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we have a lot of different food uh, ideas, paths of food here. And I have uh, uh, developed a word for this. Uh, they're fundamentalists. <laughs> the fundamentalist will say that you're going to die of acne, lumbago, scurvy, rickets, gingivitis, calazar, leishmanias, if you eat any of the things they don't want you to eat. You wonder how anybody has stayed alive for five million years eating all sorts of other things. So, so I don't really pay attention to them. What I say is food is an essential part of a healthy diet. <laughs> <laughs> a day without food is like a day without food. <laughs> That's what I say. Now, uh, so how did it begin? Here we are. The very beginning when human beings began to walk. And so uh, Lawrence says to Morty, or well, Morty says to Lawrence, Lawrence, I think you should try it this way, on two legs. And Lawrence says, Morty, what are you doing? Soon enough, you're going to have to get sneakers. You're going to get sneakers for the kids. They're going to want once a year. It's going to cost you a fortune. <laughs> Don't worry, Lawrence. Well, why are we speaking in English, Lawrence? It hasn't been invented. <laughs> and why are you speaking like Al, Al Pacino and I'm speaking like David Niven? <laughs> you're Lawrence William Charles and I'm Morty. <laughs> I don't know, Morty. Well, look at this. We have to get that animal for our lunch. Die. It doesn't die. Well, look at this object I found on the ground, this heavy substance. I think it will work. OK, we got it. I think I've invented a new age. Take the. Take the prey down with a heavy, large object. It's a Stone Age, Morty. Stone Age. <laughs> you invented the Stone Age. That's all it is. <laughs> so, from that, we get to the Umlaut Cafe. <laughs> you know the Umlaut. <laughs> it's just called the Umlaut in Southern California, where they could name their kids Avocado, <laughs> salad, oak, or that's true, actually. <laughs> we have a special salad, which is juvenile asparagus leaf on a bed. It's always a bed <laughs> of, of childish, immature. <laughs> Aspen bark <laughs> and fresh GMO free kale. The kale grown on his private estate in Guatemala, picked by Juan Valdez every morning, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Shade grown kale, vegan. Guaranteed gluten free. <laughs> and then we we drizzled it with they were always drizzling everything. <laughs> they don't pour, they drizzle with extra, extra, extra virgin olive oil, 
tres X a siete de oil. <laughs> Tasty and maybe not so digestible. With accents of goji berries, noni juice, <laughs> and notes of petroleum. <laughs> <laughs> they have international foods there too, like Kanish Lorraine, <laughs> and Tetrazzini Paprikash, <laughs> and Gefilte Sushi. <laughs> Everything is plated as finishes and notes. Is this carpentry school or a class in musicology with the notes? Everything is plated. On the other hand, Denny's has pasta in a bread bowl. <laughs> you get it with a little side of mash, and then after that, you could go in case you need, you have a depletion of carbohydrates, you can go to Krispy Kreme. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, At the Krispy Kreme they have, when the ladies leave, they have fresh wounds. Someone told me that. I'll have 10 of those, make it a dozen, and have uh, a six pack of the insulin that goes <laughs> Starbucks has now got nitrogen infused coffee. What is this? Is this a coffee shop or, or a chem lab? <laughs> nitrogen is $12 a cup. It's made from artisanal single blend coffee. Is this coffee or wine? What is this? Starbucks is the biggest scam of any, anywhere. They, they, we had a coffee shop. You go into the coffee shop, 60 cents, you get a cup. They give you as much as you want. Mm -hmm. Starbucks, first of all, Starbucks doesn't have a free second. You want a second cup, $4. A third <laughs> cup, nine dollars three <laughs> cups of coffee fifty two dollars <laughs> and they could charge more why could they charge more because they have french names for everything yeah. first we used to get a cup it was one size <laughs> then they got fancy they got a small a medium large easy not starbucks yeah. it's a tall is a small uh, 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 Gandhi is Medium is grande. And, and for a large, they have the old Norwegian name for an oil tanker, large. They give French names for every slanty line, $2 more. <laughs> so you're paying $2 for a French word. And not only that, there's no waiters, there's no busboy, so you're spending the time cleaning everything up, cleaning the tables, bring anything back, and do they have regular chairs? No, they have these things like that, stools. <laughs> When's the last time you, an old guy like me sat in such a high stool? <laughs> I'm, gonna that little. <laughs> I'm not gonna get up in a stool like that. So, if I told somebody, hey, look, I'm gonna have a great idea. I'm gonna open up a coffee shop, it's gonna not charge 60 cents for a cup of coffee. It'll charge 250, 650, 950. <laughs> I won't have any waiters. I won't have any busboys and no real chairs. And I'll open a whole chain of them around the world. Do you think you'll say, that's a great idea. You should just go right ahead and do it. No, you'll lock me up. <laughs> But they can get away with it because they use French words. And then they have the worst thing, a cafe americano. What is that? That's a big cup of hot water, and they take the last drops of the coffee from the pot, and that's what they call americano. <laughs> you get a bagel at the coffee shop, 75 cents, with a smear, one dollar. <laughs> and you can take that bagel, you could knock down a office building with it. <laughs> it's something. It's a meal. You go to get a bagel at, at, at a, a Starbucks, you need a detective to find it. And they charge you $2. You want, you want cream cheese? 
three dollars. A knife to put it on with, a dollar. A jet set reaches the bagel, two dollars. So you get a good sized cup, sixty-five dollars. A bagel, cream cheese, coffee, you got you pay an extra mortgage on that. So here. Are you suffering from impacted kundalini? <laughs> Are your chakras in overdrive, You're spinning your wheels? You say you feel like a reject from the Tibetan Book of the Dead. <laughs> you say you can't get on the caboose of life's gravy train. No problem. We suffer no more. Get whole again, back to your true, true capacity, Find your own passion, find your bliss. With the ultra exponential quantum leap holistic newest age program, come get your chakras realigned, balanced, and spun. <laughs> Realign your meridians with mindfulness using our special turquoise malachite by our crystal master and Chinese astrological gong therapist. <laughs> At the same time, get your electron supply replenished because you're leaking electrons and you have to have enough electrons to live with our earthing worship, workshop, workshop, or worship, featuring Antioxidant rich coconut oil water bath. Plant the seeds of rebirth with our biofeedback customized astral body balancing. Follow your own neural feedback pathways. Navigate your pranic bliss. Get your auric ionizer generator. Our 14,000 hour certified guides are here to free you and your money. Take a stand against delusion. <laughs> Uh, we are existing as frequencies, whatever else you want to call it. We bathe your entire body with azure blue light at 5,012 angstroms, which replenish your mitochondria. We love <laughs> mitochondria. And while here, you may also check with our expert panel, past life regressive specialists. We hydrate our uh, custom artisanal juice bar featuring fresh squeezed wheatgrass juice over a layer of noni juice with rosehip kombucha and fresh goji berry and notes of infuser kai and non-GMO gluten-free, of course. <laughs> we are the only spa to offer original, personalized aromatherapy Mountain Hawaii clay facial with rose hips and acerola berries. Remember those? Isero Nobody remembers Isarola. <laughs> okay, with Madagascar vanilla, plus a generous dose of spirulina chlorella, otherwise known as pond scum, which we buy $3 a pound and sell for $12 an ounce. <laughs> this is a, oh yes, Oof. you're also invited to attend our astral body projection HD multiplex where you can take a real selfie. <laughs> I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. <laughs> Esoteric moving reference. <laughs> it's accompanied by Enya doing her Kalhein Stockhausen medley accompanied by uh, Zen Fear. Act now, and no extra cost, you will receive your own personalized six-pack of mantra. <laughs> We've got your bear yoga, root bear yoga, float yoga. What is that, root bear float yoga? <laughs> Two kinds. You've got your goat yoga, sheep yoga, kid yoga, baby yoga. you got your vina yoga, pinya, colada yoga, <laughs> hot pants, yoga, cool <laughs> yoga, mountain yoga, bungee yoga, easy peasy, adjustable yoga, wall yoga, and listen, you say laugh yoga is too much for you, not ready for it, well we got chuckle yoga and sleepy yoga. <laughs> <laughs> and we got your partner yoga, codependent yoga, isolation yoga, bone again yoga, 
And that's about all the ogres we got. We got all 36 flavors. Beautiful background music. I already said that. Sign up now. And not only will we send you this nine Jinsu knife pack, but a CD of Ethel Merman leading deep relaxation. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know who she was, you can ask her any of us old people. <laughs> <laughs> There's also, you can visit our exclusive yoga fashion shop, which has the little Lulu lemony snicket <laughs> pants <laughs> at $99.75, which makes it tight where it shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you do the thing you've been wanting to do, you'll be wanting to do something else. <laughs> God has a funny sense of humor. Yeah. Well, an odd sense of humor, because the longer you complain, the longer God lets you live. <laughs> the sure sign that intelligent, intelligent life exists outside of us is that it has never tried to contact us. <laughs> In the beginning, there was nothing. Then God created light. There was still nothing but we could all see it. <laughs> and actually, there's a lot of depth to that. we got to think about it. Trying to know yourself with the mind is like trying to bite your own teeth. <laughs> How do I combine, question to the guru, how would I combine the spiritual life with life in the world? Gently fold together, do not stir. Place in an oil pan at 350-degree oven. Bake until crisp. <laughs> you would do well to keep in mind that for one trivial exception, the entire population of the world consists of others. <laughs> My mom was very forward-looking. She once joined an integrated church and synagogue. It's called, it was called Our Lady of Perpetual Aggravation. <laughs> <laughs> Roses are red, violets are violet. Some poems rhyme, this one doesn't. <laughs> Artificial intelligence beats real stupidity. <laughs> the problem with doing nothing is you do not know when you're done. <laughs> Whole Foods. Okay, <laughs> so they had this free, free stuff. They had tofurkey and gluten-free bread. I said, okay, I'll try it. I'll try anything, you know. It was like, I'll tell you the truth. It was like napkins on a new pizza box. <laughs> Not even a used pizza box. New pizza box. But they had this wall of kombucha. I said, okay, I'll try wall of kombucha. Why not? It's free. Even some of it even had a picture of a cute Amish girl. Or it's an Amish girl. Amish girl. Amish girl. And they said it tasted like acai berries with raisins. And it says more like uh, pine tar oil or fermented STP. <laughs> but I took a whole bunch. Then I walked through the cosmetic section. Big mistake. I walked out with $350 of estrogen face cream. They're very good salespeople. <laughs> and I'm going to look really good. Speaking of which, you have these commercials. OK, so I'm going to go on that for a bit. There was. You have this commercial, this TV ad for this oil of Olay. Okay, this beautiful woman coming on, and she says, I do not suffer from dry skin. Of course not, you're 18 years old. When I was 18, I didn't suffer from dry skin either. You have somebody did something in the house which made it all smelly. So they, they have this can of Febreze. 
so they spray sometimes two cans <laughs> and they say inhale the petroleum carcinogens <laughs> they don't open the window to inhale fresh air um, wedding invitations you know you're in financial difficulty if a wedding invitation comes with three inside envelopes, six sheets of, of tissue paper, and it's engraved, double engraved cards. And at the bottom of the, of the wedding invitation is a, uh, a website where you can register, and they have the last thing remaining is a $400 plate. That's it. <laughs> My mom once had a plate that was $9. She said, don't use it. We need it. What for? What if the Pope visits? <laughs> we need a proper plate for the Pope. <laughs> Maybe we give him a Pop-Tart and put a Pop-Tart on the proper plate for the Pope. <laughs> don't get it wet. She used to cover the couches with this uh, plastic. And she says, don't sit there. That's for the guests. I said, what do you mean the guests? We, we don't get guests. You mean Uncle, Uncle Adolf is a guest? Yeah, he's a guest. Well, Mom, this is a living room. That's where we're supposed to live. <laughs> and you can't, we, we couldn't do it. That's it. She would call me and say, did you eat yet? <laughs> that was the opening line. No, I'm not making that up. <laughs> I said, Mom, thank you for reminding me. After 65 years, I would have forgotten that government <laughs> story. That's what it is. That's what his mom. She would say, put on clean underwear. You're going to the doctor. I said, Mom, it's a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> she would, I said, that's it. It's just the thing. She said, what if you get into an accident? The car, what will people think of me? That I can't afford clean underwear? Put it on. <laughs> you ever notice that when anybody is going slower than you, they're an idiot, and if they're going faster, they're insane? <laughs> I'll tell you this. The nice part about living in an ashram is that even when I don't know what I'm doing, someone does. <laughs> People say nothing is impossible. Did you ever try gargling with your mouth closed? <laughs> you sure? Oh, I did that already. As you make your way through this hectic world, put aside a few moments at the end of each day. At the end of the year, you'll have a couple of days. <laughs> The person with the least expertise has the most options. <laughs> if you take something apart and put it together enough times, you'll soon have two of them. <laughs> Einstein said that the difference between genius and stupidity is that genius has its limits. <laughs> so, that's true, he said that, <laughs> and he recognized that. Because, yeah. <coughs> so I was signing uh, a receipt, a credit card receipt at a store one day, and the, the person at the counter said, this is not good. Why? Well, you didn't sign the back of your card. We have to match the signature and the receipt <laughs> with the chicken on the back of the card. So. I obliged and signed the back of the card, and wouldn't you know, they matched. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the Taco Bell, and I said, minimal lettuce, please. The lady said, we only have iceberg lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the airport. Oh, I'm going to do that airport thing. That's, that's um, and the, the person at the gate the security there said, 
Has anybody put in anything into your luggage without your knowledge, <laughs> sir? I said, if it was without my knowledge, how would I know it? And he said, that's why we have to ask. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, banking. Ah, so I used to have a bank account a long time ago. I had $30 in the bank account, and then it went down to 25 which is below what they allow in the bank. So the bank fined me $20. <laughs> so I forgot that, and I wrote a check for 15 the bank then fined me thirty. I now had a negative account. Never heard of such a thing. I go on the street. There's a guy giving out samples of something. I say, "How much is it?" He said, "Nothing." I said, "I can't afford it." <laughs> My poem, the New Age Blues poem. It was a busy day. First, I did my mantra, then a round of Tai Chi. Is this the way to find the I that is me? Spent an hour in Tantra, staring at a yantra. Now I must go do aerobic, eating only macrobiotic. <laughs> then a while in Zazen, breaking my brain on a koan. Why is there no satisfaction? Should I take a vita, mega vitamin? <laughs> or perhaps it, it's a wheat grass fast that is the answer. Or maybe because the moon's in Cancer. Where does it go? Time. No time for Aikido. Should I have some tofu? Or maybe a round of Kung Fu? <laughs> Ashtanga, power, Kundalini. I'm feeling like a big tortellini. <laughs> waiting, waiting for expected miracle. Mr. Last Train to Lhasa Pinnacle. Could not get into Vipassana from a miracle. Just a minute to adjust the Feng Shui. Should the talking stick go into the foyer? Uh, or why, so that is why Samadhi is looting me, because, not because of exclusivity, I find. It's simply my confused mind. Got to see my guru. I'm glad he is Indian. Maybe he'll tell me what Papa means. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, remember, truth is one, mistakes are many. <laughs> <laughs>